Dear Michael, you are, dear, rare, a leaf dancing in timelessness through the spotlight gaze of a sunbeam. You are awareness. I am awareness. I write this letter to myself and hope this finger-tingling love can dive deep into your soul. My words would just break apart if they tried to follow, disintegrate as symbols do in the face of direct experience. I wish my eyes could ever gaze into yours and translate secrets of the moon. There is so much texture to her experience of being it could make you cry or read forest songs. But I bet you already have. Our bodies spit out metaphors that make us believe in space. Does our awareness ever move, except to some say to travel time? Hafiz is still whispering in our ear. We are still the taste buds kissing Hafiz's tongue. Sometimes my body shivers golden sparkles bursting with joy that now exists and sometimes is always now. April 7th. I confuse islands for clouds below the flying machine I'm snuggled inside. Did Puerto Rico just happen? Sixteen days of here and there. Beaches that take turns with the coquines to sing me bedtime lullabies. Are there other kinds? It feels so distant. I'm surrounded by thirty rows of strangers, six seats deep. A blind man on a plane ride between Fresno and Flagstaff pointed out to me that this one group of people will never be together again. Puerto Rico is foggy, but you, you are as vivid as dew. I am still resting in your embrace, catching my cosmic breath. Awareness you've shown me is powerful. I want to shout this to the entire cabin. Do they realize the delightful miracle of our combined proximity? I swam in the goddess when you love me. I want to thank you, and so I will, every time I meet you in a different disguise. Words feel inadequate. And what words can contain the universe inside of them without breaking to pieces in excitement? Lay your head on the softest grass possible of imagination and breathe love out into the roots of existence. I will be doing the same.